Thank you for calling Las Vegas Airport Travel Lodge. This is Nixa speaking. How can I help you? I told you a minute ago, don't call this motherfucking number again. Ain't nobody calling your number, so bye. Don't you call this number again, you low life toy son of a bye. bitch. Uh, you're the piece of trash. You're the one calling me. Call bye. this number again. You understand me? <laughs> Thank you for calling Let me Walker. tell you something, you goddamn low-life bastard. If I could get my goddamn hands on you, I'd break your fucking neck. Honey, then why don't you try? You call this number again. You understand this is me? why you're calling Travel Lodge. Don't you understand the name Travel Lodge? It is a motel. I'm going to come get you. I got the police involved in Thank this you. now. Then call the cops because I'm front desk. Thank you. Bye. You ain't nothing but a motherfucker. You know it. Thank you for calling Las Vegas Airport Travel Lodge. This is Nixa speaking. How can I help you? Get that dick out of your mouth, low life. Oh, you already took it out? Okay, then. You can't talk. Why don't you take it out of your ass, then? You ain't Thank nothing you. but a Call motherfucker. Again. You Bye. know it. Thank you for calling Las Vegas Airport Travel Lodge. This is Nixa speaking. How can I help you? You can't even talk. You no good for nothing, low life bastard. Oh, well, that looks like if you are the one that's not able to talk. So why don't you go call whoever you're calling or get off of the drugs that you're on and relax. How you about that? Ass, piece of Why don't you go get your new fix? Bye. I'll beat your goddamn brains out of your head. You understand that? Thank you for calling Las Vegas Airport Travel Lodge. This is Nixon speaking. How can I help you? I told you a minute ago, don't call this motherfucking number again. Oh, yeah. And I'm you so quit, scared. You quit calling this number. I know I'm so scared. And I Shut up, you horse. no good for nothing. That's why I'm a low life scumbag. Exactly. That's why you're talking smack to a female. Why don't you go find out who's really calling you, get off of your dope, and really find out who's calling you. Then your veins you are getting you. low. And then you can your veins and take that number. dope. If you would have been nice enough, I would have told you, okay then, sir, I will try and see how we could block your number. But you know what? They could keep prank calling you for all I care. Bye. We'll get you some crack put in your veins. <laughs> Thank you for calling Las Vegas Airport Travel Lodge. This is Nixon speaking. How can I help you? Take that dope, you low life. Oh, you already took it? You okay. are so dope, Eddie, you don't know what the other market let is. Let me know what happens afterwards. So finish using your dope, dope. Finish dope. using your crack, whatever you're on, finish it. Then you could give me a call back when you're more relaxed and you're off of your dope or your crack and let me know what's really going on. We'll and get you some really crack, put it in your veins. I'm calling my phone. It's really funny because it's my work phone. So it's okay. We could keep it up all night. This Shut is up. my job anyways. So I'm really not losing out of it. Bye. Shut up. Thank you for calling Las Vegas Airport Travel Lodge. This is Nixa speaking. How can I help you? We'll get you some crack put in your veins. you're letting me finish talk. Exactly. Go get off of your crack. Bye. Get you some crack pot in your veins. Thank you for calling Las Vegas Airport Travel Lodge. This is Nixa speaking. How can I help you? Your veins are real low. You need some more of that dope in you. Oh, you need more dope? Okay, bye. Thank you for calling Las Vegas Airport Travel Lodge. This is Nixon speaking. How can I help you? If I find you, I'm going to kill you. Okay, find me. Bye. I'm going to kill you if I find you. Bye. Quit calling me and bother me. Well, then find me. I'm on Covo Lane. Thank you, I'm going to use a meat grinder on you, all right? Thank you for calling Las Vegas Airport Travel Lodge. This is Nixon speaking. How can I help this you? This is Sergeant Chubik of the Chillicothe, Missouri Police Department, you dumbass. Okay then, dumbass. Call me when it's a real police officer. Thank you. Bye. Okay, look up Chillicothe, Missouri Police Department. Get their yeah. phone number. I want an actual police department to call me and let me know that it's actually them. Till I get that phone call, I don't want to hear it. So thank you. Bye. Airport you Travel. Play a game and fuck yourself with the ass. Huh? You the Hello? fucking bitch is what you are. Just like you, so then why are you calling me? You might be retarded. Honey, you might be, so bye. Thank you for calling Las Vegas Airport. Charlie Lodge, this is Nixon speaking. How can I help you? Yeah, I really got a dick when I got a pussy between my leg. Yeah, that's why you're really calling me. Why don't you get off of whatever you're on as well, just like I've been telling all your little friends. Then give me a call when you're well, off of whatever you're on. Well, then you call me and let me know what's really going on. Till then, I don't want to hear it. And if they're prank calling your phone, that's not my fault. It's a hotel. So, of course, it's going to be the same number, sweetheart. So, bye, because I just answered your question. Well... Thank you for calling Las Vegas Airport Travel Lodge. This is Nixon speaking. How can I help you? If you keep on trying, my mom, I'll go over there and spank your butt. 
Oh, yeah. Now we have a sweetheart. So you know what, sweetie? Go back to bed because it's only 5.30 a.m. and you need to go to school. Because if you don't, you're going to end up like your parents. So bye-bye. Thank you for calling Las Vegas Airport Travel Lounge. This is Nixon speaking. How can I help you? Why are you calling, bitch? Okay, you're going to keep calling me for real and try to think that I'm going to keep taking your prank calls. I'm mm-hmm. sorry, but I don't got time for you. So you know what? Grow up and really get off of the little prank calls, all right? Don't say black dicks. Nixon speaking, how can I help you? You black dicks. You like them? Yeah. Really? Dick. I would expect you to want something different, or a different mm-hmm. color at least. My but you know what? I do apologize that you like them that color, so bye. Thank you for calling Las Vegas Airport Travelers. This is Nixon Vicky. How can I help you? You want me to fucking fuck your face in, bitch? Oh, you already did? Oh, okay. That's fine. You know what? Why don't you try and get a real police officer to give me a call? Fucking hear you, big pussy head. You know, to give me a phone call because apparently you're not understanding. The dope that you're on is really making you think that there's somebody prank calling your phone because you're really stupid like that. Why are you so fucked up, I'm asshole? Cool. Honey, why don't you go back to school and go look for a job instead of prank calling me at 5.33 a.m.? Thank you. If you really are understanding the whole point of me telling you that you're being stupid and that you are stupid pretty much, then there's a really big problem. Because apparently you're not seeing the fact that you are dumb as hell to be calling a hotel talking shit to the front desk person when they haven't done anything wrong to you. If you wanted me to handle the problem of them prank calling you, I would have been more than happy to handle that problem. But you know what? I'll let them keep prank calling you if that's what you're really wanting. Take a fucking really your fucking kneecaps, you little piece of shit. If you think that you're going to get ballsy and you have the balls to do shit, honey, my address is over here. Thank you. It's going to be 3735 Hobo Lane, honey. If you really have a problem, you could really come down here. There ain't nobody scared of you. And yes, there is security on property. So thank you very much. Go away. Bye. Okay, how can I help you? You're talking to your dad. Oh, no, I'm not. My dad's Mexican. Thank you Fuck very much. You. you. He knows how to speak Spanish. Fuck so you, So really, right? apparently, you don't know how to. So... Sorry, my dad's not white. And sorry I couldn't help you with your little problem. So bye. Go have another excuse with somebody else and have somebody else try to help you. Because like I said, you are calling a hotel, honey. So get it together. Either you learn it or you don't. But I really don't care at this point. So bye-bye. You got no balls, buddy. Yeah, that's why I went to college, honey. That's why I'm what working. What the fuck is you? That's why you're not doing anything right. Yeah, exactly. How can I help you? Why you keep it up? Why you keep calling me and waking me up when I got to go to work, you fucking prick? Oh, you really have to go to work? I didn't know you had a job. I thought you yeah. were a lazy bum like you sound. What? Yes, you really motherfucker. You told me your fucking name when you were drunk, you dumbass. Why don't you, you come dumbass. to Las Vegas, bum ass nigga? Bye. <laughs> Next is Come on, fuck oh. off, Craig. Say something, you son of a bitch. Honey, you want to talk about being a son of a bitch? You're the one calling a job, which is a motel, which has a lot, a lot of rooms. You're going to meet me here, too. I'm coming from Kansas City. If you haven't understood, they're calling you from a room if you're not understanding. If you really want to understand what I'm trying to tell you is you're stupid and you really need to get a job. And if you really want to keep going with it, then I'm going to keep telling you where you could put yourself. Because honestly, at this point, I'm very fed up with you. you don't You're know. calling a job. You're calling front desk of Travelodge in Las Vegas. Airport. Don't you understand? Las Vegas, Travelodge by the airport. You need help. I'll be more than happy to help you. If you don't, then you could get lost and deal with yourself because I'm very tired of your prank phone calls thinking that you're really going to get somebody's information. I already gave you the address to the job. You really want to call and make a complaint? You can wait until my office manager is here. You don't know who you fucked with, you motherfucker. So you know what? Bye, deuces, and you really think that I'm scared. You want to try and threaten me over the phone and say you're going to kill me. Yes, honey, I'm not scared. I work for a motel, Okay. And I'm married to a freaking gangster. So really, do you really think that I'm scared of you? No. So bye.
go smoke another Marlboro, you motherfucker. Huh? Go smoke another carton of Marlboro's, motherfucker. Oh, I will. As soon as I'm done. Don't worry. Motherfucker, I'm your worst fucking nightmare, you who's your brick. That's why I'm doing the exact same thing that you're doing. That's why you're sitting here talking shit to somebody that's at work. Sitting you're going to meet me here soon. I'm coming down. from Kansas this City. Why do you think that you actually have a life? Uh, stop lying to yourself. Stop lying to your kids. Stop lying to that little girl that you have there. Stop trying to act like you're the cops because you're not. Quit trying to act like if you know what you're really doing because you really have no common sense. And if you did have common sense and you were really smart, you would understand. No one really cares what you have to say. And honestly, I'm very tired of it. So you know what? You could call me, press me out, keep talking all this shit that you want, keep trying to say you're going to threaten somebody. Sorry, honey, ain't nobody scared. Ain't nobody ever going to be scared of you. So get used to the idea that you're over there and I'm over here. And at the end of the day, I'm still making my paycheck. So no matter how many times you call me, I'm going to keep answering the phone call and I'm going to keep cussing your ass out because that's what you're going to get. Because all you are is a little prick that thinks that he's going to get away with it. He's going to keep having a person that's going to be nice to him and just hang up to him. Sorry, I'm going to stay here and I'm going to talk shit right back, honey. And if you want to keep making threats, then I will call the cops on my behalf and have them back trace your number. So don't play with me because I am not doing this anymore. I am sick and tired of you calling my job talking shit because you don't understand that it's a motel. Do you need to go back to school to get a GED? Because I don't think you graduated high school. Apparently, even fucking kindergarten was too fucking hard for you. So, bye. Thank you for calling Las Vegas Airport. Go to bed, you stupid Hoosier motherfucker. Oh, so that means you really have to go back to fucking pre-K, don't you? Because apparently you're still not understanding the whole thing that's going on about you getting your little prank phone calls. Apparently you're still not understanding that you really need to go back to school, get your education, go get a GED, or even go get your high school diploma if that's what you really need. But at this point, I am fed up with you. Go get a diploma or go get a GED. Then call me and then let me know what's going on. Because honestly, I'm getting very sick and tired of you. You really think that there's really something going to happen here? Honey, you're over there and I'm over here. Do you really think that I'm scared of your threats over the phone? No, honey, I am not. I've already dealt through it. And no, honey, threats don't mean shit. So that means, you know what? Go around, take that stick at your ass, and deal with yourself. Bye. Thank you for calling Las Vegas Airport Travel Lounge. Okay, but they'll call the police on your ass. Well, then call the police on my ass, because I'm going to call them on you, too. When the police come to your fucking house and rip you a new asshole. Oh, yeah, they're really going to come to my house. That's why you're calling my work facility, right? Boy, are you a fucking piece of work, you motherfucker. Yeah. I'm going to enjoy yes, pressing yes, charges on your ass. Yes, I know I am a piece ass. of work. And trust me, I've noticed it. So really, do you think that you're going to really get me mad, honey? You're not getting me mad, hon. You All you're really doing is making my day even funnier than it was. You want me to I send the police down to Independence, Missouri now? All you're doing pretty much now. is making sure that I have something to do at work. You want so me to send the police really down to Independence, Missouri now? you really think that I'm worried about you? You want me to send the police down to Independence, Missouri now? Send them, honey. They're going to come to your house for harassing me. Go for it. Call them to my house. Is that what and you then want when me they to do see you're harassing you and where they're calling you from, they're going to turn around and look at you and say, you're stupid. Do you know where you sent us? It was to a travel lounge, which is a hotel in Las Vegas. If I didn't know, now you know. And let me explain one more thing to you. you got to understand, you're calling a motel. So, of course, you're going to be getting calls. And do you really think that these calls are affecting anybody else but you? No, not really, because I'm up till 7 a.m. anyways. So, honestly, the one that's missing out on his sleep is you, not me. So, don't at the end of the day, I really don't care. Don't you think they're going to stop you from doing this silly fucking nonsense at your fucking age? Oh, yeah, because I'm the one that's calling you. That's why. Hun, you're like 30-something years old. Well, compared to me, I'm 21. Do you really think that I'm going to have time to call you from my job and prank call you from my job? Why don't you think about it one more time? At the end of the day, you'll notice who's smart and who's stupid. So, honestly, I think I just answered all your questions. Call the cops. Tell the cops that they could come to Travel Watch on Covo Lane in Las Vegas, Nevada. Thank you. Until you have a real cop calling me, I don't really care. And at the end of the day, your cop is going to get cussed out just like you are. So, seriously, I don't care. Bye. 
Metro Klamath, 7871. Hello. Hello. Hello, this is Metro Police. What can I do for you? Excuse me, just one minute. I'm going to transfer you. I'm at the front desk right now. Okay. One minute, please. Sure. Thank you for calling along with our boss. This is Nixon speaking. How can I help you? Um, I'm not sure. They called into Metro Police and transferred me to you. Uh, Are you trying to get a hold of police? No. I don't know why they called me. And what does security want to do with me? Oh, then she said, oh, no, I'm going to transfer you. Hmm. I'm not sure. Hello? Hello? Okay, this is a, okay, this is Officer Ed Powell with the Cleveland Police Department. Okay. We just had uh, several phone calls from this number, okay, and the individual had, and we're leaving Lulude and Lascivious phone companies. He was saying how he wanted to have sex with the officers, and he also had other things what? that was threatening the officers. That's why we were able to contact this number and call this individual right back. You called 828-3111? Say again, sir. No, ma'am. Nobody's even called them. This is a front desk to Travel Lodge. Uh, okay. I beg your pardon, sir? Was someone trying on the line trying to get a hold of police? Yeah, we heard you, sir. We this have several whole phone calls. This is a prank phone call. That's all it is. They've been prank phone calling me since 5 in the morning. I uh, beg your pardon, sir? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? I'm a lady. Or are you talking to someone else? No, it's not. So, you see, I'm, I'm sorry. You said, you, it's a prank phone call. You're okay. telling me? Who's calling this number? Who's calling us here at this district? That's what we want to know. Okay. I'm going to disconnect. I am too. Thank you. Bye. Hello. Hello. This is Karen. Who's Karen? <laughs> You're a drunk. I'm a drunk while well, I'm at work. I'm a woman. I'm not a son of a bitch. What? We didn't make any call to your number. That's for sure, sir. What, sir? You fucked with the wrong guy oh. now, you son of a oh. bitch. What, sir? I'm telling you right now, you're going to go to jail for this. Yes, ma'am. You're going to get your fucking ass thrown in jail. Is that what I know? Yes, ma'am. And yes. you're going to spend the rest of your fucking life in jail? Is that your fucking yes, problem? Yes, ma'am, if that's what you're thinking, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. You ever had your fucking ass kicked by a 40-year-old, you motherfucker? 